Hi, I'm Mr. Mahlangu. I'd like to welcome you to TV Tutorials. I'll be lecturing Electrotechnics N5 and N6. So in today's video, we'll be looking at module number one, which is DC machines. The armature of a 25 kilowatts, 500 volt series connected motor is connected to a series field of 0 0.15 ohms armature resistance of 0 0.2 ohms the motor operates at a full load efficiency of 92 percent calculate the back emf at the armature right so we have a series connected machine in this manner where we are told that the series field rse is equal to 0 0.15 and the armature resistance RA is equal to 0 0.2 right and we are given the input voltage V which is equal to 500 volts and we are not given a line current but we do know that the line current is equal to the field current which is also equal to the armature current so basically IL is equal to IA which is equal to I S E. Right. We are given an output power. Remember the ratings of the machine is the output power. So P out, the output power at the armature will definitely be equal to 25 kilowatts. Right. So P in the electrical input power we are not given. But we are given an efficiency. Efficiency of the machine is equal to 90 two percent which is equal to 0 0.92 right so now that we have all of these values the question is to calculate the back emf at the armature so they want us to calculate the value of e that you would read here at the armature and we do know that if you apply kichov's voltage law we can find that e is equal to v minus i a multiplied by RAC, where RAC is the combination of RA plus the RSE. So in this equation, I do have the value of V, I do have the value of RAC, I just do not have this value of the armature current. So that is where I need to start, right? But I'm given an output power and I'm also given an, an, an efficiency. That means that I can say, the efficiency of any operating machine is equal to the output power P out divided by P in, right? So it means I can then calculate the value of P in, which is equal to uh, P out divided by the efficiency, which is equal to 25 kW divided by 0 0.92 right and if you punch that into your calculator you will get that the value of the value of the input power p in is equal to 27.778 kilowatts so that is the input power but we do know that the input power P in is equal to V multiplied by I L. We want to calculate the value of I L so that we can have I A and we'll be able to substitute it in this equation here. So I L is basically equal to P in divided by V, which is equal to P in 27. Point 778 kW divided by V, which is the input voltage, uh, 500 volts, and that gives you IL of, let me just punch that into my calculator again, right, so that gives you 55.56 amperes. So that is now your input current or your line current 
which is also equal to IA. So now, to calculate the back EMF, we say E is equal to V, which is 500, I'm just using this equation here, minus IA, which has calculated it now as 5.56, multiplied by RAC. I said that RAC is a combination of RSE plus RA. And if we add those two together, it's 0 0.15 plus 0 0.2, and it gives you 0 0.35. And the back EMF will then be equal to, if I punch this in my calculator, I get 480.55. Five volts. So that is the value of the back EMF. Um, thank you for watching that video. Please look out for the next video on the series where we'll be looking at the shunt connected machine. We'll look at the calculations involved and also at the circuit diagrams involved with that. Thank you.